Hi, this is Brent with Emotiva Audio, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can overcome a couple of common errors that you may receive from the Direct Live software when you're running measurement sweeps. And these are both related to settings in the volume calibration screen of the software, uh, and we can help you overcome these errors when you encounter them. Here, we see one of the more common errors we can get when running Direct Live if our volume calibration uh, was not done appropriately. And so if you do run into this error where clipping is detected, that simply means that one or more of your speakers is playing at a level that is too high for the microphone sensitivity that we set, and Dirac is having a hard time knowing what to do with the measurement data collected. And there are some very simple things we can do to get our speaker output back down to the usable range. In order to produce that clipping error, I had gone in and, and raised my master output to a point where I knew I would get a, a clipping error. So if you have you know, appropriately set your levels, all you may need to do, if you think it's more than one speaker that's causing the clipping error, you can simply take your master output volume and then drag it down just by a few dB so that the relative output of all of your speakers is decreased slightly. And I suggest only lowering by two or three dB at a time and then trying the measurement again and not trying to do more drastic adjustments because you may then overcorrect. Additionally, if you think that it's just one of your speakers, like in this case, I see the right front speaker, its measurement is at negative 13.9 dB. You can also just adjust the single speaker slider to lower the output of that speaker by two or three dB and get it closer to the negative 20 range along with the rest of the speakers. At that point, if we want to go back to our measurements, if we've taken previous measurements that did not produce any clipping errors, the software will automatically compensate for any adjustments we went and made in the volume calibration screen um, for our measurement position where we were getting clipping, and, and those adjustments will not affect any measurements that were already taken. So we can just um, proceed and, and, and measure the selected position again, and this time we shouldn't receive a clipping error. All right, and we can see that we got through that measurement fine now without producing a clipping error by lowering either the, the master volume slider to bring down the level uh, of playback of all of your speaker test zones or just the individual speaker slider for any speakers that were causing clipping. Now, I'll point out here that clipping errors can be caused by external environmental factors in your listening space that aren't necessarily related to the volume calibration menu. An example would be a speaker grill cover rattling, a picture frame on your wall rattling, or anything else that's loose and causing vibrations or rattles while the test tones are being played. As you may know, the test tones that are played when you are taking measurement sweeps in Dirac are relatively loud, and anything that's making excessive noise or vibrations can be interpreted by the Dirac software as distortion or clipping from one of your speakers. Another common error that you may receive after performing a measurement sweep in Direct Live is a low signal to noise level error. The error box itself gives some good advice on uh, you know, trying to decrease the noise in your listening space, and we produce this error by simply talking over the measurement sweep into the microphone uh, when it was taking the sweep. Um, so if your room is already as quiet as it can be, there are some things we can do in the volume calibration screen uh, to uh, accommodate the, the low signal to noise. And basically if, if the signal is too low for the amount of noise in the room, well, we can make adjustments to the microphone sensitivity and the overall playback level to get a little bit more signal, a little bit less noise, and, and get a ratio that Dirac uh, is, is looking for. And so the first thing I'll do is I'm going to let my microphone gain settle at the quiet ambient noise in my room, and instead of shooting for negative 40 dB, I'm going to bring that down slightly more to around negative 42, negative 43 dB. All 
All right, and there you can see I just made a, a couple dB adjustment. And what you may also note is that as we adjust the microphone gain, well, all of the, the relative levels for my readings when I set these before also uh, decrease along with the microphone gain. Well, that's not really going to accomplish anything if we only adjust the microphone gain and it adjusts the levels of all the speakers. So uh, what I'll do uh, to kind of uh, adjust for that is I will raise the master output again back to where my speakers are closer to um, the, the negative 20 dB level. Uh, and that should get us a little bit more uh, signal, a little bit less noise in the room. And if you're still getting the error after you've made the microphone gain adjustment, we can adjust our master output even a little bit more, um, closer to, to negative 18 uh, dB or so uh, for all of our, our relative speaker levels. And at that point, um, you can uh, proceed back to your measurement, uh, try retaking that measurement position, and uh, the hope is that it goes through smoothly without a signal to noise noise uh, ratio error message. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope this video was helpful in overcoming any errors you may receive from the Direct Live software when you're running measurement sweeps. From everyone here at Emotiva, happy listening.